There's a lot of advice out there on how we should live our lives. Most of it sounds great on paper, but more often than not, I ask myself, can't the pursuit of happiness be just a little bit easier? I'm a little busy over here. Welcome to How to Build a Happy Life. In this series, I want to simplify things for you. My expert guests and I will uncover the how-tos of happiness from the inside out, from controlling our inner monologue through meditation. What this does is develop a skill called mindfulness, which you could just translate into self-awareness. To discover what it actually means to open your heart and be vulnerable, even when you're not in the mood. The container of the relationship needed to morph. In some relationships, it can, and in some relationships, it simply cannot. Happiness, first and foremost, requires self-awareness. Only when we understand why we do the things we do can we begin to transform our lives through self-discovery and love. I have to find a way to do everything I can to make sure my kids know that they're worth fundamentally, it's not extrinsic, but it's intrinsic. It is determined by their ability to give and receive love. Each week, I'll not only provide the theory behind happier living through these conversations, but also the application. Unless we embed something more sustainable, purpose and having that higher meaning of doing something that's beyond yourself is what makes us as individuals have this more sustainable form of happiness. If there's one thing I know for certain about happiness, it's that it's not a linear path. But through the ups and downs, we can spend a few moments to talk it out and explore the journey together. Shall we? How to Build a Happy Life. Download it today on your favorite app or find it on youtube.com slash user slash The Atlantic.